replacing the uh, gas valve. First thing we need to do is turn off the gas. When you have a pipe uh, running and you turn the gas valve to vertical like a T, that stops the gas from flowing into the gas inlet. And the second thing we do, make sure the tank is not hot. Same principle here, turn it vertical. And uh, another thing we need to do, make sure, is we need to uh, drain the water. What you'll need for that is a hose. Uh, on mine, there is a valve right there. It's a screw uh, type valve. I'll need to connect my hose in here. Now, uh, here's what I found out. On these newer style water heaters, you don't have to drain the water if you want to just replace the gas well. But it's been a while that I did maintenance on mine, so I'm going to actually drain the water. So here we go. I'm going to go and undo it, and I can hear the water. The tools that I used for this project. Um, of course is the uh, the manual that I was able to find online on how to troubleshoot uh, issues with the water heater can of uh, soap water for you know, testing leaks pliers pipe dope this is to make sure the, uh, the pipes seal and there's no leak Teflon tapes the yellow is for gas application and the white is usually thinner one is used for water application. Of course the part that I had to replace today. So first thing is uh, turn off your gas valve, make sure your water valve is closed. This is the gas inlet. So first thing we need to do is disconnect all of these cables here. So that's what I'm going to do right now is disconnect all of these cables. So it's easier to uh, these are just snap-ins like that, so they should all just come off. We already took off the thermocouple, and here this connection, I believe, is a threaded connection. So we have to use a, um, a plier. Okay, so this is the uh, faulty part. This is the gas valve assembly, uh, which includes the, uh, the pilot, uh, the igniter, and all the connections for the gas valve. Also for the uh, pilot gas inlet. Um, this is the uh, the one that went bad on me. As you can see, I've connected uh, the uh, two gas the pilot gas valve as well as the main gas valve. Um, this is the connection for the main gas inlet. Um, I had to make sure the gas connections are fine. Um, I had to first uh, tape them uh, with the uh, Teflon and then uh, put some uh, glue. Uh, what I used was the uh, pipe dope. Well, this is made by Ote and it's a Flogard Gold Medium uh, Yellow CPVC Cement and you can find this this is like four dollars and uh, of course the uh, teflon tape uh, that went into the uh, um, let me see where my teflon tape is this shows right here okay so that's the teflon teflon tape that i used to put the uh, put it around the uh, thread so i can make sure there is no leak now another thing i had to do to make sure there was no leak was to uh, put the soap water and um, you just all you do is do that at all the joints right there and make sure there's no leak of any soaps 
so that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions uh, please uh, comment uh, down or you can email me at support at xdbworks.com uh, thank you for watching